We study the body as a kind of writing, an alphabet, a single letter. What words do bodies describe? What does it mean to describe the body? To consider each heart like other hearts, each lung, each liver, each mind. How is perception like the interconnected roots of a forest? I've heard the secret samizdat of trees. Or that's what they want me to think. A song of infection or of care. As we write the Anthropocene, the Anthropocene writes us. We has samizdat. Capitalism puts on its shiny sky, tries to monetize the rhizome. I, we, declare ourselves non-sovereign, open to refugees, and to being a refugee in the non-nation of others. What is the best lullaby? One where the words have no borders. Of course, the ampersand is a labyrinth, a conch shell, a saraband, a cat's cradle, an ear. How to describe hearing to a flower. Bluebell, listen, the bee creeps inside. The potential for each thing to scream, to sing, for the small and pleasant. A hand drum in the volcano of the ear. What has voice until we hear or imagine? A dog, hearing, is shaking, each thing shaking dog-like, as if wet with sound. When the eyes are closed and a point of the skin is touched, we can, with some accuracy, indicate the regions stimulated, because, although tactile feelings are alike in general characteristics, differ in something besides intensity. The eyes like two icicles in darkness, holding onto the edge of the brain, slow droplets falling on the skin. Tiny winter, a braille of what the darkness sees, a cold map of electrochemical roads over the skin, frozen rivers of local community, their feeling dialects passed across a diaspora of language, absorbed by night through an osmosis of sky. Before this noun, another noun. Before the flower, another flower. The answer is that the chicken is a respite between eggs. A rope in motion changes. The alphabet, always in motion, changes also. DNA is a rope and is always a dialect of itself. Pain creates new rope. Language, a prosthetic braid of nerves. First vowels, then the difficult story of time and history, a consonant broken and shifting like a supercontinent. Noundless, the world finds names for us. Clouds, a library of rain. Rain tangling becomes cloud. History becomes the words we name and are named by. The egg is able to cross the road if we wait long enough, and only if it looks both ways.